Thank you very much, Janice. Uh, thank you to all the members of the community who are here today, but particularly to the Veterans Committee. Um, I also see uh, Representative Abbott is here today, and I thank him for being here. Um, thank you for this honor and privilege to be part of this ceremony today. I was very pleased to help the community um, pass the legislation to name this bridge, and it's one of the easiest and, um, and best things I feel I've been able to do in the legislature. Uh, I just wanted to say a few words, I think, about the, what our veterans have meant to us in communities like Newmarket and throughout the country. Uh, I got thinking about it this morning and realized that in just 15 years, our country is going to be 250 years old. 2026 is going to be here before we know it. Much has changed in our country since our great patriots decided to take on one of the greatest military forces in the history of mankind, the British Army. My own uh, great-grandfather, a couple hundred years later, in the late 19th century, built locomotive engines. And then in the early 20th century, sold his, home, his entire business when he realized that Americans would fall in love with the automobile and the locomotive industry would be in decline. Then my grandfather became a doctor and he began practicing medicine in 1921, not even 100 years ago, but just 100 years ago when my grandfather started practicing, he didn't have penicillin at his disposal. And before he died in 1988, he saw progress in that field through discovery and invention that meant that thousands of his patients lived when they would not have when he had started. And then my father grew up in the Deep South, in the segregated Deep South. My father saw a lynching when he was six years old. He fought in the Battle of the Bulge in World War II in a segregated armed forces. And he would have been so pleased and honored today to know that this country had elected an African-American president, something he didn't think would have happened in his lifetime. Throughout all of this change, and despite our citizens' many differing views about some of these changes, America has had a constant mission. And we have had one constant group of promoters and defenders, our veterans. No matter what our challenges, America and Americans have worked hard to sustain an almost impossible mission, the one our forefathers and foremothers gave us to form a more perfect union. And no matter where we have needed to be to promote and defend that challenge, America's soldiers, its sailors, its airmen and women and Marines have been there for us. I want to take a minute in honor of these very veterans, some of whom left this very town in our country's infancy to battle for freedom. A lot of soldiers from Newmarket, Exeter, and places around here actually fought in General Washington's army. I want to take a minute to remind all of us why they fought. I looked up the preamble to our Constitution this morning. It's been a little while since I read it. It says, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States of America. It's a tall order, and at times, our own very human frailties have made it difficult for us as a nation to rise to the challenge that our forefathers and foremothers set out for us and passed down to us. At times, we've stayed stuck on one side of the riverbank, knowing that a more noble, better, but more difficult future awaits us on the other side. It's been our warriors and their families who have seen the importance of supporting this call, the call to liberty and to justice. They've been the ones who have, by their steadfast belief in our underlying mission, made each of the rest of us remember what it is that makes us uniquely American. So it's very important and it's very apt that we name a bridge today to honor all Newmarket's many distinguished veterans. They've been there and here, generation to generation, to help us build and cross bridges to a more just, a more free, and a more civilized world. They've been the people willing to sacrifice their very lives 
to remind us that we can always find a way to rise to the occasion and to the challenge of working towards a more perfect union, of working towards being Americans. Thank you very much, and thank you for this program.